This is a video for how to go about creating a multi-view drawing of isometric figure one in AutoCAD. You will notice on the screen that we have an isometric view which shows the front, top, and side view in a three-dimensional form in the image. In AutoCAD, we are going to use the tools of AutoCAD to create two-dimensional multi-view drawings of the front, top, and side view. To begin this process in AutoCAD, we are going to click on New to start for ourselves a brand new drawing file. We will now want to create some different line types within AutoCAD. And in order to make different line types, you'll notice up here we have something known as layers. And right here we can turn the layers on and off, we can isolate layers, there's all different kinds of things that we can do. One thing we want to do is we want to go into layer properties right here. And when we click on the large icon for layer properties, you're going to see that you get a brand new menu show up. And right now in the, you know, in this menu, all we really have is just, you know, a white colored line and we also have these line types known as continuous. What we want to do is we want to add line types. So up here at the top you're going to see in this area here a new layer and I'm going to click on new layer and we are going to call this construction. So I'm going to go and type out the word construction and I want to change the color of our construction lines by clicking on white right here. I want to change that to yellow and I'm going to go ahead and say okay. We're going to create another line type called hidden. And we're going to click on new layer and I'm going to type out hidden and hit enter. Now, I don't want this to be yellow. We're going to switch this back to white. So I'm going to come in here and switch this back to white and say OK. And where it says continuous, I'm going to click and I want to go to load. And I want to scroll down until I see hidden. And I think we're going to go ahead and just choose, let's say, hidden 2 for this one and say OK. We're going to go ahead and say OK. Now, this menu will notice that we should have automatically have our hidden lines here. Now what I want to do is I want to tap on hidden. I had to come back up here because I noticed it still said continuous. I'm going to tap on hidden and say OK. And now that switches to hidden too in this case. If we look at the given isometric figure, we're not going to have a center line to load in this case because there's nothing, there's no hole or no cylinder that would indicate a center marking. So we're not going to need a center line. Now in order to start the part, we want to make sure that we are in our construction lines to start. So we want to get out of the layers menu and we can come up and choose which line type to be in and we can choose construction. I'm going to choose construction. Next thing we'll choose is down in our model menu down here we want to make sure that we have ortho on and I'm going to click on ortho. And I'm going to grab a hold of line and I'm going to just drag myself a line straight down. Notice this line distance is, you know, is almost a distance of 20 and that is perfectly fine. I want to go ahead and just give myself that distance right there. Just I like doing really long distances when we start multi-view drawings because we can always go in and trim off the excess from when we start. I want to click on line again. And I'm going to click and I'm just going to drag all the way over a nice long line type. And we look at our object, you know, the front view, the bottom left hand corner of the front view looking straight ahead at this object is going to be this bottom corner down here. And one thing I want to itemize is, you know, what's the total height of the object and what's the total width of the object? The total width of the object is nine blocks and the total height is a distance of six blocks. So we're going to grab a hold of the offset command and we click on offset. Notice down in the command menu, it's asking us to specify a distance. I'm going to hit the number six and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to grab a hold of this horizontal line and I'm just going to go up above it and we've offset that height. I'm going to hit enter twice and when I first hit enter it got out of offset. Now we're back into offset. I'm going to take a look at the object and it says we have a width of nine. So when I come back into AutoCAD I'm going to put in nine for my distance and hit enter and I want to go ahead and offset this line over. And what we have now in this space is the boundaries of the front view. If I were to put the front view inside of a box, it would fit right in here. Now, a best practice for us when we do uh, normal sketching, if you've seen some other of my YouTube videos with pencil sketching of isometric drawings, or excuse me, multi-view drawings, I try to leave a gap of a distance of two between the front and uh, between the front view and the top view and the front view and the side view. So what we'll do is we're going to make sure that we are in offset. The dis offset distance will be two and I'm going to click on our vertical line. I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to click on my uh, my horizontal line and go up and this now gives us this nice little gap. This will also give us a chance just to use the trim command real quick while we're here. I'm going to come up and grab a hold of trim and just while we're here I want to go ahead and just trim off this excess off the side over here. And I'd also kind of like to trim out, you know, what's in between because I want to leave 
our front view kind of in this space. And what we have now is just the boundaries of the front view. And now I have the gap in between. And this is going to allow us to, you know, to do some kind of different changes uh, with our top view and with our side view. So we have the boundaries of our front view here. I want to come back to our isometric figure and look for the depth. And now, you know, the width was nine, the height was six, and the depth is six. We will see depth in the top view and the side view. So again, the depth is six. Coming back into AutoCAD, let's go back up to the offset command and I'm gonna hit the number six and hit enter. And I wanna click on our horizontal line and we will have, now have the depth in the top view and we will also have the depth in the side view. One thing that we can do is we want to draw for ourselves a line from corner to corner here, and that will help us out a little bit um, in, in the future. So let's grab a hold of the line command, and I'm going to turn off ortho. Ortho only allows us to do 90 degree angles. I want to turn that off because I want to be able to draw a diagonal line. Where I see these two lines intersect right here, I want to click, and I want to come up to the top right hand corner and click again. We're going to need this line to help us identify some edges here in the future with making this part. Let's go ahead and grab a hold of the trim command. And I'm going to go ahead and trim off these lines. Now one thing you can do is I'm just going to click and just drag through the lines and click again. It's kind of nice. Go back up to trim. I'm just going to click and just drag straight down. I can get little lines like that or I can just select exact lines like I'm doing right now. Let's also go ahead and go in between the side view here and this little top um, this little top square we're just going to keep for now and here and here. We have for ourselves our top view and we have for ourselves our front view and we have for ourselves our side view. Now if we look back at the isometric sketch we can tell there's a little edge right here but I don't exactly you know I kind of know where this begins and ends. We can do some offsetting if we want to and play connect the dots if we wish. Um, we can tell that there's you know a distance of three cubes up to here and I can tell also you know it's three what is it four cubes over to here so it looks to me like it's a distance of five in from the side four in from this side. Now we can use the offset command to help us out a little bit to give us an idea where to just to play connect the dots. The thing I like about offset is it guarantees distances. We're not playing any guessing games. We're not writing any distances for lines. So let's go back here. I want to offset my distance from the right in a distance of four. So in AutoCAD, I'm going to put in a distance of four for offset. I'm going to click. I'm going to go distance of four to the left. That was from the right side of our front view. Next thing I need to do is I need to go a distance up from the bottom, a distance of three. So back into AutoCAD. Notice down here it's asking me to, for an object offset. I don't want to do that again. So I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm back into offset again. I'm going to click three. I'm going to click on our bottom and I'm going to come straight up. And you can see now that I have the points that I need to create this diagonal line. Now myself a diagonal line there. Here's what we'll do. We're going to grab a hold of the trim command and I'm going to go ahead and just trim off this edge. I'm going to trim off this edge here. Oh dang it, I'm still in offset. My apologies. I need to go up to trim. I'm going to click here, click here. I'm going to go ahead and just get, take away this, take away this object right here. Let's go up to line now. I'm just going to play connect the dots across the side. I now have the front view. Now what's nice about this is if you can tell, I can tell there's a surface back here that I can't see and I can also tell there's a surface right here that I cannot see. And by offsetting the distances in for where these lines have edges, it helped us automatically create some hidden edges. Now what I want to do is I want to turn some of these lines in here into both object lines and hidden lines and when I look at my object the object lines are what I can see right here in the front view. I want those to be continuous lines and I want them to be white. You know up here at the top when we did the line layers I want them to be these kind of zero layers. The zero layers we're kind of calling the object lines. So what we can do hit escape twice on your keyboard and I'm going to go around and select each line that I want to turn into an object line and when I click on these five lines I can come up to my line layers and go to zero. Now I want you to notice they turned white. Those are our object layers. Now these two lines in here will be hidden lines and they represent this surface back here and this vertical surface here. So going back to AutoCAD, I can also drag a window over a line. So I want you to notice how I just kind of went into space. I'm going to drag a window over these two lines. I'm going to go up to our line layers and I'm going to turn those into hidden lines. And automatically now we have ourselves hidden lines. What is nice about this is this gives us points to project construction lines into our top view 
and into our side view. I'm going to stay in construction, and now I'd like to go down and turn back on ortho. I'm going to go to the line command. I'm going to click, and I'm just going to drag all the way up through the object. I'm going to hit enter twice. I'm going to go to my side view here, or my front view, and I'm going to drag this right over to my side view. What this allows me to see is, you know, I, I do see a line that goes all the way through up here in my top view, and I can see that over here in AutoCAD. And also, you know, here I can see this line goes to the full depth of the object. And, you know, if I take a look at my side view, kind of jump back in here, I can see I already have this surface created. And then also, you know, I have, you know, I can create these surfaces here as well. I can see that there's another little edge here, and then I can also tell that you know this is an inclined surface. Remember, if it's a if it's a excuse me, if it's a diagonal line in my front view, it has to be a surface in my top view and a surface in my side view. So what we can do is we can go into offset again. The distance, or the depth, I should say, of this inclined surface is a distance of three. I want to go up to offset, and I'm hit the number three. I'm hit enter. I want to go on ahead, and click, and I'm just going to drag straight up. And if I look at my top view, you can tell I have the large surface here and I have these two surfaces here. Now, if I grab a hold of the trim command, what I can do is just trim out this part of this line of the object to give me this up here. And I can also trim off the excess around the outside. Let's go to trim. I need to make sure that I'm in trim. I keep jumping back into offset. Trim this part off, trim that part off. We can automatically see this surface here, this surface, and this surface. Now we would like to turn these objects into object lines. I'm just going to right click and go to cancel to get out of the line type or out of the command I was in for trim. Now I could go in and just select each one of these lines or I can just kind of tap up here out of the box, drag over the top, come up to my line layers, and go to an object line. And we now have for ourselves this object. So this is the top view and this is the front view just to make sure that I got everything here in object lines in my front and my top view. Now you might be asking yourself, why in the world did you keep this thing up here? Like what difference does this thing make? Well, this is gonna come in handy when you have more involved drawings. I'm still in construction line. I wanna make sure that I'm still in ortho down here. This is an important skill to remember. I'm just gonna click right here on my edge. I'm gonna drag all the way through this object. I'm just gonna go ahead and just drag all the way through. And what, the, what I really want is this intersection point right here. I want to grab a hold of trim and I'm just going to trim off this side. I'm going to go ahead and trim off here. If I can find this intersection point right here, it's going to make it very easy how to find the surfaces over here in my side view because I can just grab a hold of the line command. Where these intersect, I have a snap on and I'm just going to drag straight down. Just as a reminder, if you don't see these snaps down here in the bottom right, you're going to see the snap. Uh, snap to cursor and object snap functions. If you right click on this, this will give you a menu of all the different object snaps that you can use. Now if I go to my isometric view here, you can see that I have an inclined surface here that I can see. I can see this surface and I can also see this at the bottom. What's nice about what we just did is I now have these two surfaces here and I can just trim out what I don't want. Let's grab a hold of the trim command. I'm going to go ahead and trim away what's in between. And I'm also going to go ahead and trim out this line down here at the bottom. Move this over a little bit. You can see here in the side view that we have a surface here and a surface here and a surface here. I want to go ahead and turn all of this into an object line. I'm going to click, drag over, come up to my layers, choose object line. I'm going to go ahead and just for the sake of time, just going to take this and we're going to turn off one thing we can do in this case. When we highlight all this, we can just turn off the visibility of the construction line by clicking on this little light bulb. Turn the current layer off and it goes away. Now if by chance I needed that again, you can see the light bulb right here is blue. I'm going to turn it back on. I can turn them on and off. That right there is our front, top, and side view for figure one in AutoCAD. Use just utilizing the offset command and some really simple construction lines. I can't emphasize enough that when I do multi-view drawings that using offset and trim will help you set up the groundwork for a correct multi-view drawing each time. So this has been a video for how to go about creating a multi-view drawing of isometric figure one in AutoCAD.